Good evening and a very warm welcome back to the action from the Hurricane Room in King's Cross in London. And uh, this match, which uh, you've been watching for the last couple hours between Usama Maschini and Cole Bedford. It's been a cracker so far. We've been keeping an eye on the score. We're joined on comms now by Mark Shepard. Myself and Mark have just been up at the uh, Moscone Cup and there wasn't much to see down there so we, <laughs> we came back here and we thought we'd pick up the headphones and, uh, and do a bit of commentary through this one. Yeah. Good, good game, What the little bit we've seen of it so far on the, um, uh, I mean, Usama's has had a, a lead all the way through it so far. Cole's coming back in, 14-11, so just three frames in it. I think at one point uh, there was seven frames, I think at one point the gap, so it's um, plenty of time for Cole. We're only halfway through. But Usama with the lead. And uh, a great club here, Mark, isn't it? It's a, it's a really nice place. Yeah, my, my local club. A great atmosphere in tonight. Lots of people, as you'd expect. This is kind of what you want in a money match, isn't it? If somebody gets ahead, it's long enough that there's a chance for a comeback still. The uh, Moscone Cup that we've just come from, a bit, bit one-sided. Doesn't look like that's going to be the issue here. Yeah. I mean, great from a, a European perspective, but uh, I mean, we all want a competitive match, whatever we're watching, don't we? And that's uh, what we're serving up here. Samuel with a decent chance. Um, yellows aren't particularly great. Come on, baby! He's got the one yellow just to the left hand side, which is going to be an awkward ball to, to get at. He needs to get the right angle on the one to middle to come up and develop that. Would dearly like to have gone reds there, but there was uh, no opening ball. Yeah. Oh, it was in off. Sorry, it was in off from the break. It was in off. <laughs> missed the. Um, I missed the break. Um, so yeah, it was in off. It was a foul. So yeah, you can obviously still go. Still go reds. Well, I didn't expect that. Well, he could have gone reds. He needed to pot one though. So still open table. Yeah, it is indeed. And uh, what a leave this is. Yeah, it's a bit odd because he played position onto that ball. And obviously, not a difficult shot in the end. Sometimes be the way that the break in play can change things. They've just had a few minutes away from the table. Yeah, Cole was obviously gathering some momentum before the break, and uh, maybe that's just a little bit in. Usama's head, his corner up, been trying to cheer him up, so he's um, shaking his head and a little mutter to himself, so he's not particularly happy with things at the moment. And another. Oh, very surprising message from both players. And Usama now coming to the table with a great chance. And just when Cole was starting to come back into this match, it's now the gap to the smallest it's been in a long time. It's actually quite an important frame, really, this first one back. Race to 25. Yeah, you feel that um, he's been given a lifeline here, and you think he's going to gobble this one up. The real problem with the yellows, he's going to get a position on the eight ball a little bit covered by the red at the top of the table, so we'll just need to get himself somewhere near the ball cushion off his last ball. Played a cannon, he didn't have to there, but it's turned out nicely. In fact, he's on 
ball to the top right as well as the one to the top left. So makes the position easier. Yeah, and easy can leave that one to top left as his last ball to get onto the eight as well. It makes life much easier. Yeah, it's kind of created a path that didn't exist before. Slightly overdone that one to be straight, but still just about okay. Chances for both of the players, and those are the frames that cost you when you know you've been in and had a decent chance. You have thought this one had slipped away after he made that early mistake, but Moschini gets the first one back after the break. 15-11 now. Quite a tough match to call beforehand. I mean, I think Cole's had a pretty good season in the, the pro ranks. He's probably a lot of people may be giving him the slight edge, but everyone knows Sam was a good player. Yeah, you mentioned that was a big frame. We established a four frame lead and that would give Usama a lot of confidence. If Cole could have taken advantage there and just come back within two, I think um, Usama would have been really feeling it. He's um, just got an entirely different look about him now. He's a big smile on his face. And it was just a moment ago, he was sat shaking his head after that missed ball. So, um, he will break in this 27th frame. Didn't seem to time them particularly well, and the result is a dry break. Just didn't seem to just didn't seem to get through the pack. It's all about the timing off the break. You'd think 25 plus frames in, you'd have discovered your timing, but as we all know, it's pretty elusive with the break at times. Probably forced to go yellows here. Um, neither neither set are particularly nice. The yeah, this plant bottom left could be made, but it's not dead set. It looks like it's going to the jaw at the moment. And the reason you can't go red here is because the red on the left-hand side is particularly difficult to develop with the yellows above and below acting as goalkeepers. So, yellows it is. They will have a pocket. It's just their natural pockets. Come down the table and he's at the slow down. Well, that's tight. From his body language, I think he must be on the top one still. A little shake of his head, but that doesn't necessarily mean Cole's not on it. It's just not, it's not a particularly nice angle. Yeah, getting himself into trouble. He's got the plant still, and it's not a bad angle to play it from. And that's always the trouble there. It was to concentrate on making the angle and really got a good position. It's getting tougher and tougher now. The yellow just below the eight ball now becomes a problem ball. Played the double in such a manner that he knew he was going to get some cover across that pocket. It's, it's a decent blocker. Yeah, he actually hit that double pretty well. It wasn't far away from going in off the row. Again, you feel this is another huge frame to go five ahead here. Yeah, we always say it's about momentum even in shorter matches, but absolutely is in longer formats like this. It's a long night if you're picking off the frames one by one. You want to try and spin a few together. This red squeeze below the other, he can just pop it, pop it in behind. Well, that's a pretty good place to have it because it's not in a good place now to play a combination shot. It would be hard to pot red and yellow, so Cole's going to have to try and bump the yellow out. Not much he could do from there, just had to buy himself a bit of time. Yeah, the yellow now in a much better place to play some sort of combination shot, but definitely advantage you, Sam, at the moment with uh, six reds on the table. Yeah, he's not tempted to go for anything, just happy to cover another bag. Yeah, he's in no hurry now. 
as well, the fact the two yellows don't go, it would be a different situation if he'd left a coal at shot at something. Cause, wow, is he going to come off the cushion? Wow. Oh, what a great shot. That was a difficult place to play that combination from. Let's have a look at that again. Loading up with right-hand side. <laughs> That's a great shot. No, uh, no prizes, though. Goes for the treble. In off the red, is it? Oh, that was almost perfect. Well, that would have been a couple back-to-back -back highlight reel shots there. Great effort. Oh, that was a great combo to start with. Really hard when they're as close together. Almost pulled out the treble to back it up. Well, where's this eight ball? That's staying safe on the table. All nice and open for Osama. Unfortunately, Cole did all the hard work there. <laughs> Referee Neil Tom's just being asked to clear. Well, <laughs> he smeared the mark more on the table. Just a bit of chalk in front of the ball. And you kind of felt beforehand this might be the kind of pattern of the match where Cole's going maybe after the more aggressive stuff and Osama's stepping in to clear up when he's left a chance. Particularly got a classic cue action. If you see that, there's no pause on the backswing whatsoever. He, um, he literally, it's almost like the last feather is a bit of a twitch. It's like half a feather and he pulls the cue back. It's definitely not classic. No, he's got one of those sort of effective techniques, all quite compact, but not quite the same style as some. Devastatingly effective, though. You do feel, though, that under pressure, that, that, that's a cue action that could, um, that could definitely be questionable. But currently, he's not under pressure. Yeah, another frame that could have gone either way. Cole had a couple of chances, but difficult ones and didn't quite get there. So the gap opens up again. Yeah, definitely not insurmountable. If Cole can string together, you know, he just needs to, to work in little sections of three frames. Just win the next section 2-1. And just get these frames back bit by bit he's still got time Osama still needing nine to, uh, it's a bit of a road back for Cole not the best break last time out for Osama what we can get off the break here. Uh, it's a bit of a piece of earlier. We were watching him practice before the match started and he seems to be hitting the ball pretty well off the break but did just keep coming up dry. Yeah, getting a lot of balls moving, but uh, nothing fine with the pocket. Yeah, it seems to have been a, uh, a feature of the match so far is, um, is dry breaks for Cole. So like I said to him this afternoon, I mean, he, he's hitting them well. He just needs to... Just keep doing the same thing. Law of averages says you're going to take balls eventually. Table looks to be playing as well. Well as well, been recovered before the match. Yeah, this is another fairly simple chance. This is what he wants. He needs to start taking these frames in one visit. Keep Cole away from the table. He's got 
fairly big angle here. He's going to have to get into this cue ball. Yeah, I do think he wants to come up just to the right hand side of the eight ball as we look at it here, but he may have a bit too much angle for yeah. that. He's going to struggle to get there, I think. It's a very reactive cloth. He's had to travel. Okay, well, he's got the one to the top of the table. It's whether he can avoid the red. Yeah, he would have loved one more roll. If he could have taken the one to the centre, this was all done. He's got to, I think he's going to have to just brush off the side of that red. Just wants to judge the cannon. The problem is, if he digs into it enough that he may just be able to miss the, the red, but then he's coming down the wrong side of the table. He really needs to come on off the bottom cushion as we currently look at it. doesn't like it. No, and you can understand why. It's actually, well, it doesn't look that bad. It's, it's very hard to avoid the cannon with the red, and it's there's a real risk of the cue ball just getting squirted down the left-hand side of the table. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's an outcome he'll be more than happy with. Yeah, it was well judged. Good split from Cole off the break, but he didn't get to enjoy it, and Osama's supporters are definitely getting to enjoy it. A small Tiger is getting plenty of encouragement. Pretty easy to support your man when he's got a six frame lead. Annoying for Cole because he's got back into this match and he's kind of going to have to regroup and go again. But that's proved already tonight that he can claw back a deficit. Six frames the advantage now. Still needs eight for victory though. Best of 49, first of 25 takes the pot. Well, I better contact that time. Seems a cleaner split, but no balls finding the pocket. And Cole back to the table, but with a much messier layout than last time. Yeah, it's not always the way. When it's not going your way, your opponent breaks dry, and uh, it's a bit of a headache. And immediately come down the table. It looks like he's... He's just got the angle on the and gets the one at the bottom of these to drive through. Doesn't need to hit this too hard. Yeah, that, oh, that's, that really is unlucky. Red bounces off the cushion and comes back over to cover. It's not getting any easier this game. Quite a great first shot. It was in absolutely prime position. They've just overdone that cannon. Very quick pull, mind. You can see him immediately going after the problem ball. Now going to have to reroute up the table and come back for these two that are tied up at the bottom. Yeah, if he um, if that red doesn't come back, he's in perfect shape just to pop the yellow to the left of the eight. Uh, he's very inventive little plant there. That's a, another very nice shot. Does well to see it. Very creative player. Yeah, and sees it so quickly as well. It's like he didn't give any thought to that. Just instinctively knew the shot to play. Yeah, how's his luck? That wasn't really as played. Well, he can still flick this yellow in, but the cue ball's going to be travelling. He's going to have to play a cannon just to hold it at the bottom of the table. Loading up with left side. Needs a trace of luck. Mm. Good. It's not great. I mean, the yellow pass is to middle, but you're going to have to play some shot to get on this eight ball. Yeah, it was a tough ask that. He, was, he needed really to get more gear on the ball if he was going to get nicely on the, the black. He's not really left much of a shot at all here. I don't know if he can even catch it thin enough to get it past the first red and off the underside of the second one. Yeah. 
the problem is now that Usama just has all the balls left on the table. He can torture Cole from here, and uh, wow. you don't see this going any other way than another frame to the man from Morocco. Yeah, that eight ball is completely dead. As it happens, it's not even really going to matter because I don't think he's even going to need to play for a foul. He can just go for the clearance. As I say, it's a very jabby cue action, isn't it? That, that, when he delivers it, you see that it's almost like half a feather and he quickly pulls it back. No pause there whatsoever. Yeah, it's one you're not quite sure what the outcome's going to be, but he's proved himself time and time again to be a good cueist. Always made sense to leave the ball bottom right until last. Guarantees easy position on the black. Yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Take these either way around. Just going to screw back, leave the red straight to the top right. He wants to get a little bit closer to the red bottom right just to make the position easy, but limit to what he could do from there nothing to do with the white here just wants to roll this in and simple eight ball to further extend the lead yeah it's one way traffic since the break every frame going away of Maschini the home crowd, happy with what they're seeing. That break came at exactly the right time for Osama. Cole was clawing his way back into the match. Hit the buffers a bit now. Still time. His opponent's seven away from the victory mark, so... Not done yet, but he's going to have to win twice as many frames. He's got to win 14 before Osama wins seven if he wants to get this match. It's a quick pace of play. Not even two and a half hours of, of play in the match. They've got through 29 frames already. Well, it goes with a different break that time. Same, Same result. Yeah, what a split. Look at these balls. He's left. These reds are all here waiting for Osama. Really giving much away as he sits in his chair. He can sometimes be quite expressive, but be feeling devastated with the way the last few frames have gone. He's absolutely nailed the last couple of breaks, and uh, well, what can you do if you're not making a ball? Especially when they when they run out like this for your opponent, it's just disgusting. Especially when you think of uh, Usama's last dry break in the last frame, when the table went horribly awkward. Yeah, there's no question Osama's had all the better chances since that break. Done what he needed to do though, you can only take the chances that are in front of you. Again, not the smoothest bit of queuing, ideally have had the keyboard an inch or two further away from the rail, but still got a good angle here. Trying to play position on the ball on the left-hand side because that's the one that is slightly guarded. He's come a bit thin on it this time. It just makes it a little bit more awkward. He has to reroute now and... Wouldn't be the, the ball of choice to get onto the eight, so he can't leave it until last. I mean, he could leave it till last, but as I say, it wouldn't be the one that you choose. I think he has to take it now, just play the thin cut. <laughs> Otherwise, you probably have to leave it. Well, I mean, you could play it as your third ball. He doesn't love playing it now because the white's flying around, but yeah. there are three other balls. He'd be unlucky not to land on something. Yeah. It's a 
dig into this cue ball. I really would have left this a bit straighter. Wants to screw back over towards the yellow on the ball client. No, has he got enough? Well, is he straight enough that he can drop it in, or is he going to have to play I think across the table? I think he can check it off the cushion. If, he, if he's got a player across the table, the yellow in bulk plays pretty big. And drop it in the check side. And he did come across twice. He's gone far enough, but horrible queuing. I think the, the, the eight ball does pass the bottom left, so he doesn't have to do too much with the cue ball, which is just as well because he can't do much with it. And this trouble's been brewing for the last few shots. He's just mm. been slipping further and further out of position. That eight ball's tight. Well, we're not, we're not, not going to find out now, but that eight ball past that yellow looked extremely tight. And this is the moment Cole's been waiting for. It's been frozen away from the table for yep. a few frames now. Has to put frames on the board. And even though Osama's got a seven frame lead, he's going to be very annoyed not to put that one to bed. Cole's just the kind of opponent that once he starts bouncing back into a match, you just know that he can reel off a few. very purposeful tonight. There are times that he can show his emotions around the table, but he really looks up for the job. Very different style of play. It's got a sort of effortless flowing cue action. Different from Osama, but both effective in their own ways. Oh, this has been a good clearance. Not the most difficult position, but still when you're seven frames behind, no shot clock in play, but Cole's playing, though there is one. He's fairly flying around the table. The lead down to six now. 18-12, Moschini leads. Cole just stepping out of the arena. Long night for everyone. Neil Toms racks up the 31st frame of the match. Six frames is not insurmountable. Cole Bedford is quite a destructive player when he gets on a roll. He's the kind of player that can string together three or four frames and put the pressure on. He needs the chances, though. Just making sure the balls are absolutely touching. Just so important in any game, and particularly when there's a lot of money on the line. So Cole walks back into the arena. Sama to break in frame 31. Yeah, again, just hasn't connected that well at all. Um, I mean, when it rains, it pours. I mean, not too much expression from Cole, but uh, he must be feeling. I mean, it's not. It's not a great break. It's not. Um, it's not a great leave. But um, didn't deserve to make a ball off that break, and one got kicked in. And immediately breaks open the pack and gives himself a pretty decent chance. The two balls have come together at the bottom of the table. You can it's a plant you can make. It's, could go wrong though. Balls are quite spread out. The white's gonna be doing some travelling in the course of this frame. If he had a bit more angle he could play for that plant now, but the ball to the bottom pocket is pretty straight, so he's going up the table first. He needed a pretty big angle here. He's left himself an angle. Yeah, he's looking at finding a gap in the middle of the table to play the ball down the right rail. It's not a huge margin. To settle for guaranteeing the shot but leaving it at distance. The shot is missable. The ball pretty much tight to that rail, which 
Maybe it makes it a shade easier, but still never guaranteed from distance. Well, never guaranteed, and another one that gets away from him. I mean, Cole will definitely attack from here, but absolutely doesn't, absolutely didn't need to. Well, that's a horrible miscue. Well, it's a horrible miscue, but he's played a perfect snooker. <laughs> yeah, it's worked in his favour, but uh, just gives the... Uh, the paying fans, uh, something else to shout about. I mean, it looks like he, yeah, he, he can, he can get through the gap. Decent effort. I think he's left the red through the gap though. Not a difficult shot to start off than the one he was left at the last time, but he's going to be nicely in position where he drops this in, and the other reds all pretty open now. The red that's near the yellow does pop to the corner pocket, so nothing needs disturbing. It's always easy to be the second player in in a frame. Get the traffic out of the way now. Trusting the, uh, trusting the table being true there, and you know, we saw this afternoon when the players were having a knock that uh, the table really is absolutely spot on yeah it's a lovely cloth and you can see there he played that previous shot with all the check side check nicely off the cushions Sometimes it can be slippery with a new cloth but playing conditions look pretty perfect how many times do we see that when he queues up it looks like he's queuing off to the side of the ball then the last minute just straightens up Oh, it's, it's crazy. I can't get my head around it. It's, um, it's basically the same thing that Judd, Judd Trump does, if you've ever seen him queuing. When you see, um, I was watching him um, practice earlier, and when he breaks, he's queuing the cue ball with extreme right-hand side. And then he adjusts in his final backswing and brings it to the center ball. And he does it basically with every shot. Very strange. Oh, it's such a hard thing to understand, isn't it? I mean, it's the thing Jimmy White does where you cue very low on the ball, which I don't get and would feel uncomfortable, but at least you're always sort of in the centre, in the left-right axis. But it's so hard to find the middle of the cue ball when you're coming to it so late in the shot. What, what doesn't make sense to me is when I spoke to him, he said he doesn't know he's doing it. He doesn't, when he's down on the ball, he doesn't recognise that he's doing it. He doesn't see that he's queuing to the right-hand side of the ball. I guess, I mean, you're, that's not where you're looking, is it? I mean, you're looking at the, you're looking at the pack when you're breaking. You know, you're often looking at your object ball, you're not necessarily looking at where you're queuing. But it's a, it's a strange thing. I guess it's just, it's just something. It's the way he learned, I guess. Yeah, it's one of those ones you'd never tell anyone to do it, but you'd also be a bit nervous about telling him to stop doing it. Cause he's such a good queuist with that technique. Key shot coming up here. Needs to come back into the. Yeah, that's, that's not great. I mean, it's a great little developing shot, but he's um, not left anything. He's, he's got a horrible plan. What was the, the chance that that may happen when you're, when you're playing that shot? I mean, that's... Yeah, it's a pretty disgusting plan, to be honest. He, 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 went, he, went, he went for a double. I just wonder whether, just looking from that angle a second ago, maybe he could have cut that back to the top left, but maybe it was just too thin. Just when we went to the overhead there, it looked like it may have been an option. I think he would have got closer than he did with the double anyway. It's a difficult double from the position. Just felt that there wasn't much else he could do. These yellows are all a bit clustered, but at least from Osama's point of view, they're all in the middle of the table and kind of accessible to each other if you just keep tight control of the white. Yeah, it should, should, should be a fairly simple clearance, really. It's um, just about keeping the cue ball under close control. And I mean, you, you don't really have to travel more than about six inches with any of these shots. Just 
about the order he takes them in. Fires that one in. Probably elect to play the yellow to middle. He's going to be counting the red up table. It's going to open up everything. Judge the cannon well as well. There's always a risk that you could push that over the pocket and block one of your balls, but. I think now he won't want to leave the um, the yellow on the side cushion till his last ball. So he just needs to. Yeah, so he's going to take this one long. Slightly tougher pop, but it means he can get on that yellow on the side. And then they all naturally link. Yellow pots to the right centre, which makes the position easier. Just run the keyboard through as straight as possible on the last yellow. No, in fact, getting the other way down the table. That works equally well. Just the simple yellow to get position on the black. Six-frame lead re-established. Moschini leads 19-13. Yeah, again, that was a, another big frame for Usama. He was um, cold had just put the two back together, and again, it just stops any momentum that he may have been gathering. It's all about that momentum. He's got quite a few frames to claw back here. Needs to win more than two frames for every one that his opponent wins now. I mean, you wouldn't bet against it. Not either of these players more than capable of sequencing a pack of frames together. But right now, Cole's just struggling to get to the table with decent chances. Break not really firing. And Osama, who's not hit all of these breaks perfectly, just seems to be finding the results still. Stepped out of the arena for a moment. Plenty of key sports to be watched tonight. We've just come back from the Moscone Cup. Behind the table, you can see the snooker shoot out on the big screens. The time of year to be inside watching key sports, but cold to be outside doing anything. If you've never been to this club, it's definitely worth a visit. If you're ever in London, it's literally uh, King's Cross Tube Station. It's pretty much a two-minute walk from there. It's um, right in the middle of the, the of, um, a very busy and vibrant area. Lots and lots of bars and restaurants around us. It's, um, it's, a, it's a great club. They've, they've done quite a lot of work on the club uh, recently. And... Um, yeah, lots and lots of the snooker, lots of snooker tables, lots of nine ball tables, and uh, this room that we're in here is um, just dedicated to eight ball. Normally six eight ball tables in this room. Yeah, unrecognisable from what it normally looks like. All the other tables out to create space for the spectators tonight. Lots of other games going on elsewhere in the club, but all the English pool action focused on this money match. And of course, we'll have another one to come tomorrow. Shane Thompson against Ian Alley, kicking off at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Should be an interesting game, that one, between Shane and Ian. Obviously, they played before a couple of years ago. Ian Ali took the spoils that in that game. I think he won 25-23. It's uh, a five start to Ian Ali. Um, tomorrow's game's off scratch, and it's a race to 30, I think. 30 or 31, I think it's 30. But um, a pot 
in the region of 50,000. I see a couple of other faces in the background who are returning from the uh, from the Moscone Cup. One of our Swedish friends that we uh, we met her earlier today, who's enjoying the action from uh, English eight ball. He's asking all about the game earlier. I mean, again, that's just disgusting. Dry break. Eight ball goes in, and he gets another go. Yeah, you can hear the celebrations. That was wasn't because he'd won the frame. There's no kind of concept of a golden break in play here, but such a valuable rewrite when otherwise his opponent's stepping up with quite a nice split. Yeah, yeah, that's another really big blow. And they call it Sod's Law because chances are he probably popped three off this break. So, take two for Osama. Well, you called it. I mean. <laughs> wow. I mean, you look at Reds, and they're pretty good. The eight ball's obviously a problem, but I'm pretty sure he can play the red to the left-hand side off the yellow and clear that pocket. So this is a fairly straightforward clearance. balls at the bottom of the table. It's the shot to open up the black that's going to be the important one. Well, you thought that would be the important one, but it's important you get to it. Yeah. Surprise miss there. That wasn't really the shot that you thought would be the difficult one in that frame. It's not a perfect position this for Cole, but now he's back at the table, he can start trying to get some control of this frame. Oh the ball up the left-hand rail, but it's not an easy shot from the position he's in, and otherwise he's lined the black and yellow up into a plant, so yellow's in a, in a better position. Was trying to get in tight behind that yellow though, he'd be annoyed to have left any kind of shot. Shot that and didn't ultimately get very close to it. it. Can make you look a bit silly, those ones, because you just catch the wrong side, you end up a long way away from the pocket. Cole can open his account here if he wants to with um, a cannon. He's got the option to play that if he wishes to. Weighing up the options. Yeah, I'm not sure about that as an option, but I mean it's worked out for him. But. Yeah, he'll take the outcome. It's made a real mess of the table now. Both, yeah. both players have got an issue. Someone's almost got the immediate issue though, because it's not easy to find a path out of this corner. There's only a narrow gap out. Too many great outcomes, even if he does find a way out from this position. It'll be very hard not to leave something. Pretty good shot from where he was. Options very limited. Yeah, a clever little shot, and it forces Cole to attack from here. It's 
not a bad table for him, really. I mean, it, it, obviously the eight ball's tied up, but yeah, he was always had that shot to be able to develop and, uh, and narrow things in the open. He had a couple of options to be able to develop that eight ball. Chosen the right ball to use to do it. And now, uh, good angle to come up table. to get this frame on the board it's an important one in the context of the scoreline and it's an important one given that both of them had a chance yeah. I mean, Colney's Colney scored with pressure and uh, there's no pressure when you're six frames behind but uh, reduces that to five if he can get within three I mean there's a way that he can get somewhere to kind of 2017, then uh, it just puts that little bit of pressure on Usama, asks a question of him. Apologies if uh, you had some uh, a couple of little issues with the stream. We, we recognize that it did just drop out slightly and uh, we've, we've got it now back. Hopefully it's coming loud and clear in you and uh, we're going to monitor that if uh, if it does happen again then you, uh, you just need to um, just to uh, refresh so just refresh the stream and uh, we should be able to get it back cold dry again I mean it's just horrible when you when you're trying to gain some kind of momentum, I mean, look at this for another break. There's ball spread all over the table, and it's just, you're just trying to do anything to, to get back at your opponent. You come to the table and leave pretty much sitters again. I mean, not, not quite sitters, but very, very presentable opportunity. Well, it's the chorus of the breaks, isn't it? He's hitting them well, and as a result, he's getting a really good split, but then just keeps turning the table straight over. Obviously going to have to be yellows, can't play for a red, but that's absolutely fine. The yellows spread nicely. He's got a choice of two potential starting balls. Maybe even a third. Take a moment to plan the route out before he gets started. But doesn't look like there should be any problems. No prizes for guessing right now what Cole's analysis of this match would be where it's gone wrong. It's, it's all been on the break in these last few frames. And sounds like that was the pattern of the match early on as well. Some of supporters finding some voice as their man nears the finishing line in this frame. Psychologically, getting to that 20 mark, feel like you're within touching distance, 80% of the way to the finish line. Didn't have to play the touch with the yellow, but it was just trying to straighten the angle slightly. one positional shot to get on the yellow that's directly above the keyboard at the moment that's just what he's considering now the ball's the left centre next but just wants to leave himself nice straight as possible on the ball to the bottom right corner going to be bottom right next. You can play either way around the other two balls. Probably the one on the left hand side slightly easier to get a good position on the eight ball if he was to leave that until last but didn't really have an angle to do that. The ball over the pockets also fine but he's going to have to negotiate a little bit of traffic as he comes up the table for the eight ball. Probably worth just mentioning again because I recognise there'll be people returning after a little little drop out. Um, 
couple of technical glitches with the, the, the stream, but hopefully it's back and, uh, and in perfect working order now. Um, as, we, as we mentioned earlier, if it, if it does drop out, do just um, make sure you refresh your browser and uh, you should be able to get it back. But we are just monitoring the situation. That was always the thing, although it may have sounded over critical to be saying it was difficult to play position off the ball over the pocket. It, it wasn't quite as easy a positional shot. There was always the risk of over or under doing it. Yeah, this is a, a lot tougher than it should have been. It's a lot easier when you're five frames ahead, but and that's what I mentioned about that score ball pressure. Those shots are a lot more difficult when it's uh, you know 20 each or you play your opponents like within one or two frames of you and suddenly you can twitch those but when you're five frames ahead you've got that luxury all to the pocket in the end cued it really well first celebration we've seen in a while been no shortage of celebrations from supporters but Osama punching the air as well as that black went down Yeah, you mentioned the uh, barrier of 20 frames in recognising that's uh, a big one to cross and he just needs five more. And Cole needs a lot of help. Yeah, he's going to have to win the rest of the match 11-4, which, when you put it like that, the way Osama's played and the fact that Cole's been frozen away, which should look pretty good when he's been in. It's not been potting errors that have been costing him. It's been a lack of chances. And this is a chance now. Presentable chance to neaten up the scoreboard. Get it to 2015. See there, look how far to the left he is. Keying that when he first aims and then moves over, finds the centre of the white when he ultimately makes impact. I think he's landed perfectly in the gap here to take that red closest to the pocket and a nice angle to come down onto the other ball yeah that turned out really nice you wouldn't imagine it would have been a problem anyway but finding that gap just plucked out the middle one left a nice angle played that shot well had to dig deep into the cue ball Surprise miss having seemingly done all the hard work. And is that the scoreboard pressure? Would we have seen that if he was 2014 up? So the supporters urging him to get these balls deposited, get yet one more on his side. the quality of the pool a bit better than the quality of the scene. I'm keeping quite a measured pace around the table. Definitely the slower of the two players, although that's not saying much as Cole's quicker than... 95% of players. So many options from this position. Take these balls in any number of ways and still get the result. The first out and out potting mistake we've seen in a while. Long straightish ball to the corner, a leading Colt. And this player touch cannon onto the black just to hold the white. Oh, he's 
Not the best stroke shot. It's not a problem, but hoping to just come a couple of inches further back and just screw the white directly back. So just do a bit more travelling now to get good position. Very good at this kind of frame. He sort of scraps his way through, not necessarily always in prime position, but just gets the job done, which is the key thing in a match like this. Found the gap, a lot of travel on the cue ball, but still got an open shot on the black. Never in doubt, 21 14. So Moschini gets himself four away from the winning post. He's looking confident, his, his supporters are looking confident. His opponent, meanwhile, slumped in his chair, looking a bit more pensive. Still looks positive. He's not looking visibly frustrated, but it's just been a difficult restart to this match. He's been kind of scrapping his way through, nicked a couple of frames, but just struggling to sequence anything together right now. really hard to apply any pressure when you're, you're this far back. Just got to deal with what's in front of you. Right now he just needs to get a couple on the board, get to the point where he can start thinking about a comeback. Oh, and this time it's gone from bad to worse. He's found a pot, but he's also found the cue ball. Well, fair play to Cole for his demeanour. Giving everything still to this match, but just having no friends on the break. So, open table and a, a free shot for Osama. Just to open things up a bit. Mm, that's, not, that's not the greatest shot, though. Now he needs to control this cannon. Just a little bit on top of each other. Not quite as straightforward as it could have been. I didn't realise his top yellow went. That helps the case. We've got access to the full white here. Would you? Ideally, you probably wanted to play with a bit of backspin, but he's going to have to just take what he's got. may be okay actually he may be able to get through actually to both the ball to the centre and the one to the bottom corner he <laughs> tight this one to the centre but it's a good ball to move out was able to get there Not much space to get past the red. May have to just turn it over with a bit of side. Could be the important thing there, which was to avoid the cannon on the red as he came back past it. Well, this is all looking pretty easy right now for the small tiger. one-way traffic. More celebrations. And well, they might because he's now only three away from the winning post. So 
Oh, he'd have to win 11-2 if he's going to get this done. Sasama's break, which, although he's not been striking perfectly, he's going to be pretty happy with the outcome of the breaks tonight. He seems to have just been doing enough. He's been finding balls when he needs them. It's the easiest position this because obviously you'd like to be way ahead in a match but there is a degree of pressure you're expected to close it out his supporters are expecting him to get the job done quickly you don't want to get into that kind of position where you falter a bit and let your opponent back in you really just want to go for the clean kill where you've got all the momentum well, and this time no friends at the table all spread around pretty well but nothing finding a pocket it's hard to muster much confidence if you're in cold shoes but this is an open-ish position for him to go after It's a positive sign that he's taking his time. I think often people quicken up when they think the match is done, but the way Cole's playing, he still fancies the task here. And that was purely because he was focused on the cannon there. It's important how he caught the second red. He just took his eye off the pot, just thinking about the contact point. Not a boy's ever missing normally, but it's all about the position. He has covered the pocket though, which although he's going to be disappointed he's missed, is somewhat valuable because where the ball's sitting over the bottom right, I don't think there's quite space for the yellow round it, and it's not in a great place for any kind of combo shot. Yeah, Osama's looking to put some cover across that left hand corner pocket. Just to buy himself some time. And does. different world you couldn't see them going for something attacking but played a sensible shot there a yeah, free shot would be so valuable it's not a particularly difficult snooker to get out of there's lots of reds uh, lots of yellows that you can go after like a simple one cushion escape Obvious safety options now for Cole, so going for the positive shot. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky there. I was never quite sure where the white was going to go, and it, there was a danger of getting stuck, but different day it just bounces out. Better snooker that time, M more value as well from this position, because even if this armor comes off one or two cushions and runs into one of the yellows in the middle of the table, it's pretty likely to leave at least one of the three reds. swerve onto the left cushion and he just catch the yellow direct even if he hadn't he'd have come off the cushion and flipped it but as you would have anticipated he's left Cole plumbing amongst them
Quite a good shot there. Didn't have a ton of angle, but just wanted to get the cue ball out far enough for the ball to the left centre. And that's perfect. Anywhere close to straight on the ball. Top right last. The fact that red's just to the side of it as well, actually, if anything makes it easier, sometimes that will be an obstruction, but just use that to stop the cue ball. Provides a good guide, guaranteed position onto the black. Steps up from the shot, something caught his eye. It's a simple shot, just needs to hold the cue ball where it is. And the Moschini march continues. 23 now in this race to 25. You can almost taste the money. He's just got to find two more frames. His opponent a long way back, not offering any resistance right now. Struggling to find his way to the table. The dry breaks have killed Cole throughout so much of this match. Such a frustrating game at times. You can practice as much as you like and you can turn up thinking you've got the break where you want it, but sometimes at the moments it matters the most. You just can't find that elusive ball. So Simon Moschini breaks off in frame 39 and he finds a ball. That's the best break he's hit. That's the one shouts one of his supporters and it certainly looks like it should be. These have split out nicely. Make a case for either colour from this position. So, red's the choice. It's the frame you need to get onto the hill. You wouldn't say it's been a completely one sided match in terms of the play, but it's been one sided in terms of the chances. And all credit to Osama because he scrapped his way through. He's not all been clearances from the break and in fact probably been less clearances from the break than you might have predicted but it's just been scrapping his way in the frames that could have gone either way well we haven't seen a lot of that that was a surprising miss it yeah, wasn't really the one you thought would be difficult. Another one that you don't expect and uh, missed a few. Missed a few like that. Just hampered queuing on that one as well, which did make it a bit more awkward. Yeah, if anything, it's been the easy to medium shots that have got away from him. He's, he's played a few difficult shots very well. Sometimes that's the way there. You can either you take a shot for granted or you're thinking about the position rather than the pot. The old cliche that you're sort of happier with the situation when your opponent's one away from, or more than one away from victory. If Cole can, wow, he's played a great shot there. Mm. If he can just keep passing the balls and just keep a, a summer on 23, he'll feel okay. But as soon as your opponent's on the hill, you just feel so much pressure. Just quit on that a little bit. And now... Have a dig into this. And he's gone through the gap, take the yellow in the middle. It's a good shot. Yeah, it's not how he chosen to leave that originally, but he's actually played a very good recovery shot. It's not going away. It's 
still going to be seven frames behind after this, but showing his opponent that he means business at least. Thirty-nine frames played. It's been a long old evening, although we were saying earlier the match played at a decent pace. With a different couple of opponents, we could be in the middle of the night by now with this score line, but still the right side of midnight. Skinny camp breaking out the dance moves behind, but they're still in enthusiastic voice as their man lies two away from the winning post. Carl Bedford then, one of his supporters says one at a time and that's all he can do from this position. He's hit that with quite a bit more pace and finds the ball. Got to keep believing. It's not, not a bad table. Electing to go reds. Just about these three at the bottom of the table, and the order you take them in. Probably going to have to play a clever little shot just to clear the um, middle of the three and then play short position on the one. We could try and develop it. We'll see how he goes about it. I mean, he could come down and land on that ball now, and uh, you know, just just nudge it four or five inches. It'd be unlucky not to be on something. Uh, again, he's just taking his eye off the pot. And that kind of thing will hurt him more. The dry breaks. Obviously an element of bad luck, but that yeah. was a kind of user error that you don't see too much of. You don't expect those misses from Cole. He's a very good potter. The yellow's not perfectly placed. I mean, they're, they're fairly open, but it's almost taking a moment here because there's a bit to be thought about with this pattern. Just have room to squeeze that ball past, and in doing so, opened up the other difficult one. Unwanted kiss. He was trying to come around that yellow, but um, just left him the slightly the wrong angle on the one to the middle. Two balls up near the bolt line. It's got a good angle here, it's an angle that gives you quite a lot of choices. You can find quite a few different positions from here. So, enough room to get through to the one at the top, just needed to leave himself that slight cut. Just got to focus on the cannon on the second ball, that's the only thing that could go wrong. Played that pretty well, just a thin touch on it. Pretty straight to the centre, even though it's an acute angle. Nothing to do with the white. And this ball to get himself on the hill. The small Tiger marches towards the pot of gold at the end of this match. 24 frames now, 25, and victory will be his. Cole Bedford frozen in his chair. Dry break after dry break cost him, but in that frame he did have the chance. It was his own posting error that let Asama back to the table. Oh, 
time and not allowing the celebrations to get to him. He knows he's still got a job to be done. Doesn't want to get himself embroiled in a battle here. Just wants to get this frame one and enjoy the celebrations. Yeah, these guys from uh, from London have uh, really taken this young Moroccan under their wings and uh, brought him into the fold. Part of a uh, a strong team that plays from here, which includes Ian Ali and uh, Toby Bolt also plies his trade around this area. So a few very good players around here. And um, I knew Sam were one of those. Always helps to have a few good standard players around. Going to see Ian Ali in action tomorrow, of course. Second money match of the weekend. Bigger race, bigger pot. A couple of bigger name players involved. Ian Ali takes on Shane Thompson at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Cole knows that any miss could very easily be his last. A little bit more angle here. Don't know if can just avoid this red or if he's just going to have to glance off it. Mm, should have been much easier though. Yeah, we could avoid it. So he continues to march towards respectability, but a long way away from the point he's putting any real pressure on. Still queuing well though. Black in the heart of the pocket gets Cole Bedford to 17. He's still eight away from the winning line though, while his opponent just needs the one. Cole's break, is he going to stick with the cut break? It's not really been serving him very well. You almost think is it time just mix it up, try something a bit different. Sticks with the same break and sticks with pretty much the same result. A completely clear cut chance, but first dibs at the balls for Osama. One of those days, isn't it? I mean, on, a, on another day, you pop pretty much off every one of these breaks. It's just, sometimes they just don't go for you. It's not like he hasn't tried a number of different things as well. <laughs> not yet a clear cut chance, but a much easier chance to take out when you're seven frames ahead in a match. Caroline coming on in the background. End of night feel with the choice of music and end of match feel with this score line right now. Summer, it's much easier to motivate yourself for the kind of safety game they're getting into here. It's, if you're in cold shoes, you're just desperate for a few quick frames. Not 
really seen any sustained bout of safety for some time in this match, but balls have just got a bit scrappy now. to promote his balls into better positions right now. He's got an element of control with the cover of the top left, although not insurmountable. There is a red near it. It could be played as a combination shot. It's really only that top left-hand corner that's a problem at the moment for Cole. The balls in the middle of the table have all got a home. left an angle. Looks like he's going to try and attack the top left corner. There's no way you can play this with any great control. He's just going to have to... Yeah, it's one of those you had to play with pace and just try and hope for a little bit of luck. He's not had it. Well, he's had luck. It's not good, though. Which is another ball safe. Good to see him still showing some fight. Yeah, I mean, that's a real positive to take out of this match, isn't it? I think even a few months ago, you'd probably have seen him in a slightly more attacking vein at this point of the match. But grown as a player, he's had a good first season as an Ultimate Pool Pro. He's Feels like he's beaten at least one big name player every weekend so far. Yeah, he's taken out some incredible results. 7 0 against Declan Brennan, 7 0 against um, um, Ronan, Ronan McCarthy. He's put together some really good runs. Really good win against uh, John McAllister that same weekend. It's, um, it's just about doing it consistently. Well, ironically, this final frame can end up taking longer than quite a few of the previous ones put together. position in this frame, he's kind of just hanging on in there. Well, quite a positive shot again, not a million miles away from coming off. A narrow gap though, coming up and down the table like that, it would have been a big shot to have cleared that pocket. Not really apply any pressure there, what we could really do is try and make it a bit awkward for Osama. Suddenly, Osama's gone a big favourite in this frame. Ronnie! 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 forced to go for the positive shot. Pop this one to the corner, trying to run the cue ball through. Can he just be straight enough? No. Oh, well, perhaps it was. I just had more angle. I thought I was going to. Well, it was quite a lot straighter than that. I mean, his son won't care too much. He's uh, got a big lead and just needs one more frame, but he won't want to draw this match out. He wants to get it done and dusted as soon as he can. Money matches are obviously first and foremost about the money, but there's also an element of pride. He just wants to get it closed out. It's He's played well, 24, 17, 18, 19, whatever the final score ends up being, if he closes it out quickly, will be a 
good scoreline against a player of Cole's quality. And could this be the chance he needs? Ball in hand now, a free shot and a visit. Yeah, the free shot should be fairly simple to open these up and uh, you feel this is game set and match. It was a tough day for Cole, in fairness, um, when we got to the club around about one o'clock today. He took his cue out of his case and, um, and the, tip of the tip was soaking wet. Um, we'd been down to uh, Camden Town, had some lunch and you can only assume that the, the cue must have just got put in a, uh, some water somewhere and somehow the water had, uh, I mean it was really unlucky, it could have been a great cue and it wouldn't have mattered. So he had to then spend the next three or four hours getting a new tip put on his cue. He's had the tip off of his brake cue put onto his playing cue. Um, so he's also had to try and bed that one in. It's a lot softer tip than he's used to. So it's been a, it was a, it was a tough start for him today, but uh, I don't know how that damage happened to his tip, but very unlucky, very unfortunate. And uh, well, maybe that played a small role in this and also his dry brakes, but ultimately, to Sam Maschini, who's put on a great performance today. Done everything he needed to do. Yeah, take nothing away from Osama. He's done what he needed to. It's not an easy thing playing in front of a big crowd like this. It's great having the support, obviously, but it adds its own pressure. He's handled the pressure really well. Two shots away now. And take a breath there. He knows he's almost done it. Just this eight ball for the win. Yes, indeed. A fist pump. And the players shake hands, and uh, it's a great win from the home player, Osama Maschini. Thanks to applauded from his fans and uh, good game, Paul. Good, uh, good all-round performance from Usama. He was a better player on the day. And uh, walks away with £15,000 in that pot. And that was the warm-up for tomorrow's main event. Do join us back. Uh, tomorrow we'll start from 2pm. Uh, it's the big one. It's the rematch. Shane Thompson versus... Ian Alley. Um, Ian Alley is in the club at the moment, just over to the right hand side, and uh, he's ready. He's ready to go. Shane Thompson's been practicing a lot. He's ready to go. That should be an absolute cracking game tomorrow. So do join us for that one, and uh, we'll be back on comms tomorrow. And from two o'clock, uh, join us from King's Cross. But for now, it's a good night from me. And a good night from me. Thank you to everyone that's come down to the game. Great game in the end, played in exactly the right spirit and warm congratulations offered from Carl Bedford as he leaves. Join us again tomorrow afternoon at 2.